Hey y'all, uh, for America's game of the week, the Rams versus the Saints, I'm going to make a quick uh, ribs and red mashed potatoes with some Northwoods and copycat cheese bread. So let's get right to the ingredients. So you are making mashed potatoes in our Instant Pot. Um, I have three pounds of baby red potatoes that have been washed. I'm keeping the skins on because I actually enjoy to eat the skin. Um, you want to take off all these little hairs. So before we throw them in there, we are going to take off all that hair. Um, also, along with our three pounds, I use one garlic clove for every pound. And they're pretty big, so make sure you get a big one. Three pounds of the baby red potatoes and three garlic cloves are in. I'm going to take one and three quarters cups of chicken stock and throw that right into my potatoes and then we're going into our instant pot okay got our three pounds of potatoes in here i'm going to hit manual and i'm going to keep it on the highest setting and i am going oh that's on 52 pounds hold on i'm gonna only do 15 minutes on these 15 minutes for three pounds of baby red potatoes will give you like a really good potato. That's it, let's let it go. Let's let it do its job. The pressure on my Instant Pot for my potatoes is done. So I'm gonna open this baby up. These are potatoes. Now I just gotta drain some of the liquid up, put in some margarine. I like margarine in my potatoes. I know butter is a lot more healthier, but margarine in your potatoes taste amazing. These little dudes are like fork tender. I mean, they just come apart. So I'm not gonna season them until the very end. I'm gonna add all my margarine and my sour cream and start mushing them up. And then at the end, if they need seasoning, I'll add it. Okay, I've added a quarter cup of sour cream and eight ounces or a cup of margarine. And then I'm just gonna start mashing these guys up and get them all mixed up and I'll show you what it looks like once these are all mashed up and mixed together with the margarine and the sour cream. And I left about a quarter cup of the liquid that I cooked them in. Okay, they're all mashed up and because my chicken stock has so much seasoning and so much flavor, I don't even have to add any salt. All I'm gonna do is add some pepper. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. I added a teaspoon of black pepper. Now I'm just going to completely mix these up. And there you go. You got Instant Pot mashed red baby tomatoes. Let's just give them a try. Mmm, amazing. Hope you enjoy. You can add some cheese if you want to, but these taste amazing just the way they are.